guys welcome back to my channel I am so excited that I was finally able to get this video edited and up for you guys if you've been following me for a while you know we've been really busy trying to get this house all done and ready to sell we've done so many updates to the home and it finally just went on the market today so in this video I am doing so much cleaning and you guys are gonna get to see a few new rooms that I have never shown in my videos before so I am so excited to show you guys that so I'm gonna get started in the kitchen. It is my favorite place to get done and out of the way first before I move on to the other rooms in the house. So let's get to it. So our kitchen counters were full of food and stuff that needed to be put away, but when I opened the fridge, I realized that it was way too cluttered in there as well. So I took a bunch of food out of there, started wiping down the shelves, and that way I have a lot more room to put away the food that was on the counter. So that was unexpected. I wasn't planning on doing that today, but it needed to get done. And in case you're wondering about my dress, I picked that up at Old Navy on the clearance rack. It was like 20 bucks or something like that. And I wanted something just light and airy to wear around the house when I'm doing housework and just hanging out because since we are on the lake house, we don't have air conditioning because we rarely get days that really get super, super hot that require air conditioning. So this dress is a perfect solution. It's just light and airy. And this day was particularly hot, but we still had that nice lake breeze. All right, so back to the cleaning. I am using my Young Living Thieves Cleaner to wipe down the kitchen countertops. I also used that same cleaner to clean out my fridge, which I really love for cleaning the fridge because it is safe to use around food products. So you can actually even clean your fruits and veggies with Young Living Thieves. All right, now let's tackle all of these dishes. I'm gonna get started with unloading the dishwasher and then I have a sink full of dishes I need to clean, as you can see. Hey, I don't know if I told you that I think you're beautiful and how I can't wait to hold you. Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down and I don't know what I would do without you. Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down. Hey, now look into my eyes. You can use them as a mirror, baby. You're my ticket to paradise. Hey, now everything's all right. We belong in for Here I'm just putting away the utensils. I've got a knife drawer there that is full of knives. As you can see, I kind of need to reorganize it because it's a little bit of a mess right now. And then I've also got my drawer for my forks and knives and spoons. So that one is actually nice and neat and tidy right now. So I don't need to worry about reorganizing that one, but that knife one, that's gonna be on the to-do list. All right, so while I'm cleaning the kitchen, I'm gonna throw in a load of laundry. So I did some towels earlier. I'm gonna take that over to the couch and I'm gonna get that folded later. And I'm throwing a blanket that I washed into the dryer. To my eyes, you can use them as a mirror. You're my ticket to paradise. Hey, now look into my eyes. You can use them as a mirror, baby. You're my ticket to paradise.
Yeah, it feels like I'm on cloud nine. As you can see, I have a lot of pots and pans and platters that need to be washed here by hand. And now that the house is basically renovated, I'm hoping that we can stay on top of the dishes and the messes much better than we have been. I've been so busy in other areas of the house that I haven't been able to maintain my normal cleaning schedule. And that's one of the things I'm most excited for now that the renovations are done, just having a regular schedule again. And with that being said, I'm hoping that I can finally just be on a better video routine for you guys so I can get my videos out more routinely like I was in the old house when everything was organized. Once we sold our house, everything just kind of flipped upside down and we had so much going on that it was so hard to be on a normal schedule. So it will probably get messy again once we sell the house, but the bright side is that we'll be building and I cannot wait to share with you guys that whole process. Alrighty, so here I'm just wiping everything down and just moving the appliances over, making sure I get any crumbs that are hiding under there. I also have the pans and platters and whatever else I washed drying off on the island. Sometimes I get people asking me why I don't just dry them with a towel. I just find that that's an extra step and I can just set them aside on the island. Most of the water drips off and then I just grab a cloth and I just wipe the island off and the dishes are basically dry so for myself I just it's a habit it's a way I've always done it All right, so now that the counters are all wiped off, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the sink. Now, I really love having that rack at the bottom of the sink. The only thing is, is when I am cleaning out the sink, I have to lift up that rack. Sometimes I'm lazy and if I had just cleaned the sink, I won't bother lifting it. But if you wanna get a really good deep clean, you gotta lift the rack and wipe under it. Waiting for love, waiting for love. I don't know what else I can do. 
All right, now over to our coffee station area. Now we use the Nespresso machine this morning and there's some coffee splatter everywhere. So I have to make sure I get that machine all cleaned up. Now that's one thing about when you're using an espresso machine and that's with all machines, even Keurigs and stuff like that. You wanna clean it after each use. That way it stays like new longer because if you just kind of leave stuff in there including like coffee and whatever it can I don't know what you call it it gets it needs scaling and coffee stuff gets stuck in there and whatever but anyways point is you want to make sure that you run a clean water cycle through it after you've used it and the little milk frother appliance there that needs to be cleaned so I just wanted to make sure I did that uh, I don't know what else I can do and I'm just gonna mix things up a bit and I'm gonna sweep today. Usually I use my Dyson handheld vacuum, but I'm just not feeling like going to find it right now and the broom was there anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep the kitchen today. Now I'm just gonna get my mop bucket ready. I'm putting hot water in here and just a little shot of bleach and a little shot of laundry detergent. I know it kind of sounds weird, but it smells fantastic and it washes the floors really well. So that is what I use today. And I think I've mentioned in one of my other videos, sometimes I'll change it up. Sometimes I'll do pine salt, sometimes I'll do thieves. Um, it just depends on what I feel like smelling that particular day. I know that kind of sounds really weird, but um, I like to mix things up. You're keeping busy, always things to do. Our situation still undecided. None of us knows what we want to do. It happened last week when I stopped by your. So the carpet could actually use a washing in the washing machine, but I'm just gonna give it a little spot clean today. There's a little tiny spot of spaghetti sauce there. But the one thing I really do love about this little area rug is you can throw it in the washing machine and it comes out perfectly. And for the fridge, I'm just using my Wyman's stainless steel polish to clean it. I've mentioned before that that is my favorite product to use for cleaning stainless steel. I've tried the Method stainless steel cleaner and it does not do near as good of a job as the Wyman's products do. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on from the kitchen and head into the living room. The living room really is not in that bad of a shape, but I do have to wipe down the coffee table and do some vacuuming and mopping and stuff like that in here. All right, so you know you have a really big living room when you need to use an extension cord to get your vacuum to reach all over the room. Now, I could totally unplug it and just kind of move it from plug to plug, but even that is a pain in the butt, so I'm just using an extension cord and plugging in my Dyson, and I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum this whole room. Okay, so I'm moving on to the floor washing. I feel like for this room, I could definitely use an industrial sized floor mop. This one is just, it seems so small for the amount of floor space that I have to cover. 
So who needs to go to the gym anyways when you have to wash a floor of this size? Like it is insane. I don't even know how many times I'm going back and forth, back and forth, but it is a good workout, that's for sure. There's a storm coming And I need a hand to hold With the fear of being here on my own With the winds blowing And the leaves they turn to gold Like they did with you those summers ago I can't remember if I showed you guys this little area in any of my last videos, but we did end up doing shiplap as a, I don't know what you'd call it, like a backsplash behind the countertop over there. And that's where I'm keeping the popcorn machine and the s'mores station. So we have all of the stuff basically for like a fun night out on the lake. You've got popcorn if you're sitting outside by the fire or you can have s'mores as well. Moving on to my bedroom, I've got quite the little mess going on up here. I've got a bin of some clothes that needs to be put away. My rocking chair is always a mess. I've been putting clothes on there and they need to be sorted. I've got laundry baskets with clean clothes in here that need to be folded and put away as well. I've got some bins that that's one organized corner, so that's a good thing. But other than that, yeah, I've got a little bit of a mess that I'm gonna tackle here. There's a storm coming. Let's get started with my bed. I'm going to go ahead and clear off any of the clutter that I have sitting there. I'm going to make my bed and like I've mentioned before in a bunch of my videos, I really like getting my bed done first because that way if I have any laundry to fold, I can do that right on the bed and I have like a little workspace. It's basically the same idea that I go with in my kitchen. I like to get the island cleaned first and that's kind of like my little base, my little workspace where I can use to organize things and stuff like that. Now that the bed is done, I'm gonna go ahead and tackle that rocking chair. It's mostly, well, you can see teddy bears, some clothes and a couple of blankets and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead Fold the clean stuff, put it away, and if there's anything dirty, I'm going to throw that in the laundry. To be honest, my closet could use a total overhaul and reorganization, but I'm hoping that the house sells pretty quickly, so I just feel like there's no point in doing that. Um, I suppose if we don't end up moving right away and we're here a little bit longer, and I could probably factor those into my videos and get some organizing done. Okay, seriously you guys, Emmett is so cute. He saw me looking at this at HomeSense the other day and he was with me in the store. And then I was just like browsing at it and I put it back on the shelf. 
So he snuck it <laughs> on the um, counter where you go to pay for your purchases. As I was paying, he like snuck it on there. So after when we were in the car, I was looking through the stuff and this was in there. <laughs> so I'm like, Emmett, where'd this come from? Did, did I forget to put it back? Cause I totally thought I put it back. But he said, no mom, I saw you looking at it and I know you really wanted it. And I know you would regret not getting it. So I put it on the till for you. So yeah, I bought myself this courtesy of Emmett. <laughs> Here I'm going to go ahead and wipe down my night tables and I'm using the 7th generation disinfecting wipes. got a bunch of laundry all over my dresser here so I'm just organizing the stacks and I'm gonna go ahead and put them away where they belong and here I'm just folding up the duvet cover that I washed earlier today and I'm gonna go ahead and start vacuuming the room because I've gotten basically everything put away. I wanted to show you guys a little hack that I use to make the room smell amazing when you are vacuuming. So you take the filter out of your vacuum and once it is clean, you go ahead and place a few drops of purification essential oil by Young Living in there and it just makes your room smell so clean and fresh. Now that I'm done in the bedroom, I'm gonna go ahead and start in the master bathroom. So I just had some laundry I needed to go and put in the hallway so I can take that down to the laundry room. And now I'm just putting some clutter away and I'm gonna use my seventh generation disinfecting wipes to go ahead and just wipe down the sinks. The sinks really aren't too dirty, so I'm just doing a quick wipe. That's what those little wipes in the container are handy for because it's just for quick little jobs. Usually there's a whole bunch of toothpaste in the sink and stuff like that. In that case, I would use a spray bottle and a rag, but luckily today the sinks weren't that bad. You guys, it is such a nice day outside today. I really just wanna go out and sit on the deck and enjoy the lake. There's a nice breeze but I have a lot of cleaning to do, so I still have to keep tackling it before I can go outside and enjoy the day. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys will recognize my supersized scrunchie. It is so cute, I love it. I wanna get a couple more of them. I bought it at a local shop in town, but I know you can get them online. I think there is a website, um, I think it's Double XL Scrunchies. I'll link it down below for you guys. But it is uh, super handy if you just have like a messy bun hair day and those scrunchies just kind of dress it up and make it really feminine and cute. Alrighty, so I'm just finishing up here in the bathroom and then the master suite area will be all done. And now I can head into the hallway and get the hallway vacuumed. It's a high traffic area, so I do have to vacuum it often to keep it free of like dog hair and dust bunnies and all that kind of good stuff. So now that I am done the hallway, I'm gonna head into the kids' rooms. So it's actually not that bad in here. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the bed, get all the clutter cleared off of there, and get the bed made. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some fresh sheets and blankets on here. The other duvet actually belonged in my other boy's bedroom. So sometimes the kids will like 
sleep in the other kids' rooms, depending if they're watching a movie or something like that, and they fall asleep, um, especially in the summertime, since we're not on a strict routine by any means. So that's why we have blankets in all sorts of different rooms of the house. And you'll notice in the kids' rooms, they're not like overly decorated. I didn't really set them up as I usually would because we are hoping that we're gonna be packing up soon before we move and start building our house. So I didn't really want to put all that work into decorating their rooms, but they still have their favorite things in there and they're pretty basic otherwise. I didn't put a whole lot of extra stuff on the walls and stuff like that. Alright, so this room is all done. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next kid's room. That bedroom is quite basic. I really didn't put much in there at all. It is just the bed and two nightstands and a TV. In the closet, he's got most of his beloved belongings, but as of right now, I just really took most of the stuff out of here. He used to have a bookshelf with all of his trophies and stuff like that in here, but we took all of that to storage. It'll just make moving a lot easier. And next, I'm gonna show you another room that you guys haven't seen yet. This is the bathroom up on the second floor. This is what we call the kids' bathroom. So I'm just gonna get started with cleaning the toilet. You know boy moms, you know what it's like to have boys. The toilet often needs to be cleaned. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the toilet and make sure everything is wiped down nicely. Now this little hand towel is all dirty, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap that one out for a clean one. And I'm gonna go ahead and start wiping down the bathroom sinks as well. Hey, you're good at making me lose my mind, but I always come around, don't I? And I know sometimes I'm bringing you down, but I always make you smile. Now this shower here is a brand new shower. We took out the old one that was here and we installed this one. This one is so nice. I love the shower doors. They are very sturdy and they just roll super smoothly and they're just like a nice heavy glass door. And they're actually not that bad to clean. I was kind of worried about it being a pain in the butt to clean these shower doors, but I just use a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and just some Lysol or Pine Sol or whatever cleaning product I have on hand at the time, and it cleans perfectly well. Now, I also did wipe it down with paper towel and Windex, and that took any water spots or any streaks right off. So that was a really good way to clean shower doors because I've never had glass shower doors before. Now the floors in here are actually pretty clean as it is, but I'm just gonna go over it just for good measure. So I'm gonna go and vacuum it just to pick up any dust or hair or anything that's on the ground. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and wash the floors. All right guys, now that I have cleaned up all of those rooms, I'm just gonna give you a little peek and show you all of the progress that we made and how nice and tidy it is now. So the kitchen just looks fantastic. I wish it could stay like this all the time, but I know that as soon as the kids want something to eat, it's gonna be a disaster again, but I'm really gonna try to stay on top of it. 
Anyways, I'm so happy I was able to show you guys some new spaces in this video. I also hope you got a whole bunch of cleaning motivation. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and don't forget to make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!